welcome to another class. I'm going to look at uh, a form three topic called commercial arithmetic. And this topic uh, I'm going to deal with money. So because I know we are all lovers of money, we are going to enjoy this topic. I'm going to start with the uh, simple interest. Uh, we're going to start with simple interest and uh, B. We need to uh, remind ourselves what interest is. An interest is the amount charged for use of borrowed money for a specific period of time. Uh, interest is the amount of money charged for use of borrowed money for a specific period of time. In other words, uh, if uh, you deposit some money on the bank for a, period, a particular period of time, uh, you are going to get your money plus interest. You are going to earn you some interest. Or else, when you get a loan from a bank, you don't pay that amount of money that you borrowed. You are going to pay a higher amount, which is going to include the amount that you borrowed plus the interest. So that's what interest is. And uh, for that scenario that uh, you have borrowed a loan, uh, the amount of money that you have borrowed or maybe you have deposited in the bank is called the principal. Uh, uh, that's the amount of money uh, borrowed or deposited in the bank is uh, called the principal. P. Then uh, uh, we have the rate of interest earned uh, in a given period of time to the principal is called the rate uh, of the interest. So uh, along the time that you're going to borrow the loan, we have the, uh, the rate of interest. And of course, we just write it as R. Uh, then we need to, of course, see how do we calculate the simple interest. So you have said you have the amount that you have borrowed. Uh, it's called the uh, principal, which is P. And then we have the rate, uh, that is R. And of course we have the time to which you are going to borrow the money, which is just abbreviated as T. So for us to get the simple interest is we should have the formula uh, principal multiplied by rate and then multiplied by time all over a hundred. That is the uh, formula for uh, getting the simple interest. Uh, principal times rate times time all over a hundred. Can I have an example one here? Uh, one uh, can have sample if a customer deposited 26,000 uh, in a commercial bank which pays a simple interest at the rate of 14% per annum find the simple interest after 3 years so uh, this kind of question, we know the principal is 2600 uh, 26,000 and then rate is 14% per annum, that is per year, and then the time uh, is three years. We want to get the simple interest that this money is going to earn to this person who has deposited it for uh, three years. So the formula here you have said simple interest is given by P R T all over a hundred. So principal is twenty six thousand times uh, rate fourteen times uh, uh, time three all over a hundred, and then uh, get to get and I have these two cancelling, so I get. Uh, to 60 times 14 times 3 uh, 
can be able to use a calculator there to do the calculation. Uh, I have 10,920. 10,920. That is uh, how we get the simple interest. So this money is the money that is going to uh, be earned by 26,000 over a period of three years. Uh, we can have uh, something else that you need to understand here. Uh, we have the sum of money that uh, one has borrowed. So the sum of money at the end of the given period of a time is called amount. Uh, the sum of money at the end of a given period of time is called the amount. Like in this scenario of ours, uh, amount now, the sum of money at the end of given period. And like in this scenario here, uh, we have the principal that was deposited there was 26,000. At the end of the three years, uh, we have an interest of 10,920. So amount here is usually given by uh, principal plus the interest. Principal plus the interest. So amount now will be uh, the principal which is uh, 26,000 uh, plus the interest 10,920 it's going to give us uh, 36,920 so this is what we're talking about the amount the total money that this person has at the end of the period he initially had 26,000 but uh, by the end of the three years uh, we have an interest of 10,920, so the total amount is what to talk about the uh, principal plus the interest, which is 36,920. Let's have an example two. We have calculated the amount of money earned on uh, 150,000 shillings for five years at a rate of 14%. So we are asked to get the amount of money that is earned by uh, 150,000 shillings uh, for five years at a rate of 14%. So here we have the principal is 150,000, the rate is 14%, and then the time is five years. We are being asked about the amount. So the first thing here we need to get is the simple interest. Uh, simple interest will be PRT over 100. That is 150,000 times 14 times 5 all over 100. So you can cancel by hand there. We'll be left with 1,500 times 14 times 5 and this is going to give us uh, 105,000 105, uh, so that's the amount of interest that is going to be earned by 150,000 a rate of 14% in 5 years now that being our interest now we need now to answer our question we have been asked amount so amount is given by principal plus the interest interest uh, the principal here is 150,000 then we add to the uh, interest which is 105,000 uh, the other two we get 552 five, so that is the amount 255,000, that's our amount at the end of five years, and that uh, question. Uh, example three, uh, to read, uh, find the time during which simple interest on 50,000 shillings at 10% per annum is 12,000 500. So here we have the principal as 50,000. The rate is 10% time uh, 
we don't know, but the simple interest we have been told is 12,500. So uh, we want to get the time. So simple interest is given by PRT over 100. We have the uh, 12,500, that is simple interest, is equals to principal uh, 50,000 uh, times rate. 10% times time, we don't know the time, right by 100. So we can have that. So you have a 12,500 is equals to a 5,000 T. So you divide by 5,000, you divide by 5,000 there. So you get T will be. Uh, 125 divided by 50, that is going to be 2.5. So our time here is two years, two years, and then 0.5, that is half a year, six months, or just uh, two and a half uh, years. Uh, let's look at uh, example four. It reads, uh, calculate the rate of interest if 48,500 shillings and uh, 7,500 after two and a half years. So here we have the principal is 48,500. We have the rate uh, time uh, rate uh, we have been that's what you want to find then the time is two and a half years and then the simple interest the money that it is earned by the 48,500 uh, in a particular period uh, in the two and a half years is uh, 7,500 so we write our simple interest formula which is given by PRT over 100 so this is going to be uh, for sorry. So uh, seven thousand five hundred is equals to forty-eight five hundred times rate uh, R times time, uh, which is two and a half all over hundred. So we can simplify that. We have 7500 will be for 45 times two and a half. Uh, we are going to have as uh, 12, 12.5 R. So we divide by uh, 1212.5 on both sides. So that you can get uh, R is equals to this is a calculator there, 7,500 divided by 1,212.5. I have 6.1856. Uh, so, of course, that is our rate. Uh, going to be 6.1856. Five six percent. So that the rate is usually in percentage. Let's look at our last example so they can be able to see uh, the different way we can be asked questions on uh, the simple interest. Example five we have um, a busher obtained a loan on a simple interest was charged at uh, 14 percent per annum. He cleared his loan by paying 24,805 at the end of one and a half years. Find the sum borrowed. Uh, this question, uh, we have uh, the rate of uh, 14% amount that was paid back 24,805. And then we have the time one and a half years and uh, 
we are required to get the sum borrowed. We need to get the police for there. We are not being provided with. So here we are going to use uh, give, uh, give our P to be just uh, ready to be P because we don't know the amount of uh, the principal there. So uh, the simple interest uh, we know is given by P R T of 100. So uh, P times rate 14 times time one and a half all over 100. And then I'm going to have it as uh, 2, uh, 0 point, uh, 2, 1, 0 point 0.21 P. When you multiply uh, 14 times a half, one and a half of 100 times P. So you get 0 0.21 P. That is a simple interest. We have been given the amount, and we know that amount is usually given by uh principal plus the interest in this case our principal we don't know we have it as p and the interest we have it here as 0.21 p so we add the two we get one plus 0.21 we get 1.21 p that is our amount and this amount is the one that will be told it is uh, 24,805. So we just take it to the two uh, we have uh, amount is equals to uh, 1.21 P and this amount is 24,805 is equals to 1.21 P. So you get the value of P divided by 1.21 divided by 1.21. So P there uh, will be uh, 24,805 divided by 1.21. We are going to get 20,500. So our principal is 20,500 shillings. Uh, let's mark uh, the end of our class. Mm -hmm.